In this video, I'll be exploring Adobe Fresco's latest 4.4 update. The app has added a few new features and improvements that I think you're going to be excited about. Starting with Snap to Shape, you can now create perfectly symmetrical shapes by drawing a rough shape and then holding your stylus at the end of a stroke. You can also drag the shape to scale or rotate it as needed. Here's an example of the snap to shape with a triangle this time. So I hold down and now I can create a triangle and then by dragging my stylus, I can adjust the size and rotation of my triangle shape. Next up, Adobe has also added a contiguous control in the fill settings. You can now select your artwork and fill multiple areas of your design that are not connected. This is basically like Procreate's threshold feature. Thirdly, and my favorite update is the ability to add motion onto clipped layers. So now you can take your animations further by adding motion onto clip layers and moving it along a path. Let's see how it works. I'm creating vertical lines on a new layer here, and once I'm done adding those vertical lines, I'll click on my layer and create a clipping mask. Then I'll click on the motion panel on the bottom right corner of the screen. From here, I'll tap on path and draw a path across the screen. Feel free to adjust the path settings to change the look of the animation. But now you can see when I click on play all, I now have added motion on a clipped layer. To show off the last update, you'll have to click on the back button to take you to the home screen. From this screen, tap on learn, and our final update is the new learn experience. At the very top, you'll find different options that you can choose from from different categories of Adobe Fresco's tutorials that you can learn from. Let's just say we want to learn specifically about maybe live brushes in Adobe Fresco. I'll tap on that category and I can scroll down and find YouTube tutorials on this category. I can select a video and then drag it and place it somewhere on my screen. And then I can click on home. I can select a piece of artwork. And once that opens up, I can click on play on the YouTube video and I can watch a video or a tutorial from Adobe Fresco while working simultaneously in Adobe Fresco. Thank you for watching this overview of Adobe Fresco's 4.4 update. With new features like adding motion on clip layers, Adobe Fresco has become an even more powerful tool for artists and designers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe.